Good morning everyone, this is Dr. Alex Vasquez with some updated news about viral infections, the role of viral infections in chronic inflammatory diseases, and my updated treatment strategy for addressing these chronic and acute viral infections. As many of you know, I published my first antiviral protocol in 2009 and I recently updated that in my work on rheumatology, currently version 3.5. As I discuss in my rheumatology work, when we talk about viral infections as related to chronic autoimmune and inflammatory diseases, we have to consider what I call the total viral load, which includes exogenous viruses, endogenous viruses, and bacteriophages. One of the things I noticed, being a student through three doctoral programs, having read dozens of medical textbooks and thousands of research articles, is that I've never seen the clinical pathogenesis and treatment of viral infections explained in a way that actually helps clinicians understand how to treat, in a strategic manner, each of the core components of these common conditions. The consequence of this confusion, obfuscation and phenomenalistic clinical approach has left many clinicians impaired in their ability to treat virally infected patients, which is all patients, everyone at all times. Relying on antiviral drugs provides clinicians with a few advantages, but many, many disadvantages. So what I've done recently is update and reorganize my antiviral strategy into a new protocol which is going to be published as a separate book and also in a digital format which will be updated on a periodic basis. This new protocol is easy to implement. I think that anyone can do it. It is concept-based and that provides a framework for understanding the logical approach. It's evidence-based. All treatments are based on published peer-reviewed research, prioritized and contextualized throughout the discussion. The antiviral nutrition book in digital format is updated regularly and these updates can be delivered directly to your phone, computer, or iPad or computer tablet. The book also includes in its printed and digital formats immediate access to video tutorials, updates, and additional explanations. Now let's look at a few samples of the research that's been published recently that I think many of us will be very interested to review. Here's an article published in 2013 titled FDA approved selective estrogen receptor modulators inhibit Ebola virus infection. Here's another article supporting the use of high dose mannose binding lectin as therapy for Ebola virus infection. And very interestingly here is an article supporting the use of papaya leaf juice to increase platelet count in patients with dengue hemorrhagic fever. This was a clinical trial in 228 patients in which beneficial results were noticed within three days. So for those reasons and more, I invite you to take a look at the new book, Antiviral Strategies and Immune Nutrition. That is the paper printed version of the book. The digital version is called Antiviral Nutrition. For doctors, this new information will be integrated into our upcoming Inflammation Summit, discussing the role of chronic infections in inflammatory diseases. So I invite you to take a look at that website and register for the free newsletter so that you'll be updated when that program is available for delivery.